guys, welcome to Next with Steph. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I put together this cute little bunny art. I did show this in my last video, and I mentioned that I would show you how I put it together. So this is the video. If you like this one, please subscribe, and come on, let's get started. cute little Easter Bunny sign that I'm making, the first thing I'm going to do is take this frame that I have in my house. It's an 8x10 picture frame. I'm just giving this a quick coat or two of chalk paint, just a white chalk paint here. I'm going to put the two coats of paint on and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a sand to give it a bit of an aged appearance. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna give it a second coat. I'll let that dry and I'll give it a quick sand. For the next part of this wooden sign, I've taken these little wooden slats. You can use whatever kind of wood you want. This is a pine. I got a piece of 5 16 by uh, one and a sixteenth uh, wide and it was a I think a seven foot long piece that was just enough for me to cut uh, enough slats to fit my frame and again the frame is eight by ten and I made sure to dry fit them so all of these pieces together fit nicely into the back of the frame. I'm just going to go ahead and glue them together. I've laid them out on a piece of wax paper here so that they don't stick to the paper I have on top of my uh, work surface. So I'm just adding this uh, or putting on this wood glue and attaching all the pieces together. I'm going to give them a little bit of time to dry. And I have a wet rag here so that if uh, a little bit of glue comes onto the surface of the wood, you can just wipe it off. So while I'm waiting for the wood to dry a little bit, I'm gonna push it to the side and I'm going to take the frame and instead of uh, dry sanding it with sandpaper, I'm just going to do a wet sand with a little damp rag and just wipe the, the high parts and bits off here and get a little bit of the detail of the frame coming through. It's nice to, uh, to do the wet sand. I have a little bit of a damp spot on here, but I'm going to work around it anyways. Uh, it's nice doing this wet sand um, because it's not as dusty and I can do it here in my workroom instead of going to the garage where it's still a little cold. <laughs> Now that I finished wet sanding, I'm happy with how the frame is looking. I'm gonna wait for these little wood slats to dry a little bit more, and then we'll start finishing the sign up and putting it together. Okay, so now that now that the board is, is completely dry, um, I've gone ahead and I've sanded the board. I just did a light sand with a sanding block and I did that in the garage so I didn't have the dust in here. Wiped it down and now I'm just going to apply a coat of this espresso stain. I went ahead and put on my apron because I'm just a little bit nervous about getting this stain on my sweater. <laughs> so this is a really dark stain here gonna wipe it back as much as I can because I do want to see as much of the grain as I can.
probably should be wearing gloves as well, but that's okay, I'll wash it off after. Okay, now I'm gonna use a clean rag to try and get as much of the extra stain off as I can. And I think that's great. We get to see a lot of the wood grain in there. I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna do the final painting technique. Okay, so the stain is dry and I went ahead and I found a, a little drawing of a bunny online, just a free clip art. I've printed it out and I've cut out the outline and just taped it on here. And now I'm just gonna take some uh, crafters paint, just a white paint, and I'm gonna go ahead and sponge paint the stencil. Just gonna make sure I sort of dab and pull away from the, the outline so that it doesn't go underneath the stencil. Gonna worry about being too too perfect about this because I kind of want it to be a little bit rustic and rough. Okay. I'm so funny. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna take my sandpaper and just sand it a bit. Now that the paint is dry, I'm going to give it a quick little sand. Just going to dust it off. And there we go. Now I'm going to put it in the frame. There we go.